When it comes to choosing baby's vehicle, as with any set of wheels, there's no shortage of choices. Some parents prefer sporty models, while others opt for the elegance of a classic carriage. Either way, it's a stylish experience baby will likely sleep through. The classic perambulator, or pram for short. While this style of baby carriage is unmistakably British, this particular brand is Italian made. Production begins with this machine, which bends steel tubing to form the pram's handle. The machine's every move is computer guided for accuracy and consistency from pram to pram. Once formed, the handle is chrome plated. They construct the base of the pram's frame out of a steel blade. An automatic feeder pulls the blade off the roll into a stamping machine. The machine's die cuts 54 centimeter long pieces with rounded ends. A press then bends each piece twice, forming it to the final shape. To assemble the base, workers align the pieces in the correct configuration with the help of a template. They add two steel rods for the front and rear wheel axles, then weld everything together. The base then goes off to be plated with chrome. When it returns, following some minor assembly steps, the full frame assembly begins. Workers mount two large oval steel springs on the base, securing them with pivoting hinges, which will allow the pram base to fold flat for easy transport. They hammer a rivet into each hinge. Then, using clamps, lock it in. The pram has a cargo basket made of chrome-plated welded steel mesh. It hooks onto the frame base. The pram's handle, meanwhile, has acquired a grip made of chrome-plated steel and genuine leather. They attach the handle to the frame with a plastic pivoting hinge, which enables the handle to fold down flat for transport. A spring-locking device secures the chrome-plated wheels to the axles. A foot lever at the rear of the frame activates the brake on both rear wheels. The pram body has an upholstered covering. They make it by layering a rugged polyester fabric over soft polyester batting. Then fusing the two materials along the perimeter with heat generated by a high frequency welding machine. This upholstered covering is made up of three sections. After trimming off the excess fabric, a seamstress stitches the three sections together. Then she lines the interior with cotton, a breathable fabric that's soft against baby's skin. The body structure is made of plywood sides, poplar bottom supports, and sturdy fiberboard ends. After cushioning the sides and edges with polyester batting, they dress the body with the upholstered covering and lay in a cotton mattress. After installing metal carry handles, they affix the pram's canopy, driving the screws through the upholstery into pre-drilled holes in the plywood structure. The canopy is made of water-resistant laminated polyester sewn over a frame of steel ribs. The ribs are hinged, enabling the canopy to be opened and locked or collapsed. The snap-on upholstered front cover, like the canopy, is made of laminated polyester to protect baby from rain and cold. Metal pins underneath the body fit into slots on the frame, locking in securely with a lever. For quality control, the factory regularly tests random samples, putting them through 100 hours of a simulated bumpy road at a speed of 5 kilometers an hour. The pram must survive this not very baby-friendly journey with nothing beyond normal wear and tear.